Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Left Nothing. In this episode, I'm sharing my work in progress attempt to kind of convert um, Entagma flow map shader into geometry nodes. So, so far, I've been getting something like this. It's not yet flowing as I expected. However, it's uh, I think it's getting there. So this is um, an this is an uh, Entagma shader uh, made by some Houdini artists, and basically the shader look at flow map texture, something like this. Usually it's red and green. You can see the uh, the flow map is kind of making like a spiral motion or circular motion, and this flow map texture is being used here um, inside Entagma shader and it's kind of making this kind of flowing effect there's actually uh, uh, this texture is actually made using a flow map add-on flow map painter add-on by these guys by Clement actually uh, and if I if I'm using their example so this is the, the same flow map and if I use it as Suzanne and this is from their example the shader is really quite complicated but basically it's turning this flow map and you can use like liquid shader and this flow map will kind of simulate water motions without any kind of simulations so this is really cool it works for cloud smokes it's kind of like um, advection some kind of way that this 2d painted flow maps uh, can affect shader okay so I'm still trying to understand what's going on but I think that's uh, that's pretty much what's what's happening here and you can uh, once you install the, the add-on you can actually paint if you go to switch to paint mode in 2d on or 3d let me try doing that with this off you will you will have a tool to paint the flow map in 2D. So that's basically the idea. So we can turn this on and start painting. So this will direct the motions of our water. Let me escape. And I think this is live. So if I go back to the water, you can see now the water flow is different from before. Okay, so that's basic idea of flow map, and what I'm trying to do is just to convert it into something that geometry nodes can understand, and hopefully, kind of control the rotation or maybe making things flowing. So far, this is what I get. It seems this is more like a little bit like this you can see the text with the texture it's kind of blending nicely I don't know why but uh, with uh, my setup it's a bit weird but uh, this is work in progress so let me try to explain so this is the flow map um, texture and inside geometry nodes what I have so far is like this geometry nodes coming in and this is just transform node I didn't use it and I subdivide a plane and then I try to sample the this flow map texture and I call it red and green so I'm using um, attribute sample texture looking at UV map so I get this red green value and and then what's going on here is that I have this time value that I try to inject through to offset the, the UV okay so time coming in and I multiply the time so it's a bit slower and here is uh, something that Entagma is doing basically using modulo and offset of time half the time I'm using clamping here I don't know if that's actually giving the effects Yeah, 
this is supposed to be 0 0.5 and I don't know why I need to use clamp there so we get this kind of un undulating effect not what I want but still it gives something so it goes into modulo so the time actually kind of looping by itself and I'm combining S XYZ now I can inject it into the geometry nodes network so this is giving an offset and it's basically offsetting the original UV map with red and green same thing over here UV map and just offset it using red and green okay and I get this UV map A that I multiply with red and green I, I have a feeling I made a mistake but anyway I mix both um, UV together as UV map using this mixer and there's this is also something that Antagma is doing kind of a way to to make an offset that's kind of looping okay so anyway this goes in and I'm separating into XYZ and I just grab the X and the Y X and Y value so we have this RG basically X and Y value that's been influenced by this flow map I have control over the strength of the flow map so it's kind of doing, just giving this undulating effect I wish this is more like flowing maybe I don't know maybe Antagma can help me in this case or someone else out there so basically and then I'm converting this into point attribute I don't know if this is necessary but it's just kind of promoting the value up um, and then the rest is just instancing of Susan head if you notice the Susan head is actually kind of scaling and rotating and also moving so it's moving because I'm multiplying the position with this red green XY I can mute this so we have only the scale and the rotations on Susan head unmute it I can use point distribute so I can distribute Susan head so this is kind of if this is flowing I think it's the effects is gonna be much better if the points is actually flowing could be good for something like hair or something I don't know mm. and I'm testing attribute map range here try to map the range into the correct value for the rotations and the scaling this is an extra multiplier for the scale and then we, I just point instance it this might have potential so that's what's going on here I'm trying uh, to understand the flow map tools and that's actually pretty easy um, and it works in the 2D and 3D I will show you this if I can yeah this is using Antagma shader once again on noise value this is the painted uh, flow map using the add-on so if I go to the texture paint and this is in 3D mode in 3D mode we, we specify the, the base color to use and down here we have 3D flow map painter so if we turn that on we can paint the flow map in 3d okay we can also do it in 2d of course but we need to escape here so I'm basically saving that you can of course bake you can bake this flow map into a shader once it's baked you can easily bring it into geometry nodes that's probably another way to make it simpler but I want to have some kind of real-time effect so that's why I'm trying to convert the Antagma 
and Dharma shader into geometry nodes, which is a little bit more complicated. But I, I think I learned, I learned something. So maybe one of this is a little bit wrong the way I set it up. I know I'm sampling the red and green, but maybe I should have offset it, offset the UV, and then sam sample the red green using that UV. Maybe I don't know. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll try to fix this um, and hopefully I get something that works better. Uh, so hopefully you find this useful anyway. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.